Hey guys, I am back with another video and this is the start of my new collection, which is called the Queen Couture Collection. As you guys might know, my Disney princess inspired collection is now over and people have asked me if I was going to have a new collection for this year and I said yes I would. So this is it. If the name of this collection and this video seems familiar, it's probably because I already have two videos somewhere on this channel titled Fashion Illustration Queen Couture. This collection has been in the works since 2012, but it's been abandoned twice and only in 2014 did I pick this up again and started from scratch. To explain what this collection is going to be about, as the title suggests, it is inspired by queens. Am I going to be creating dress designs for different queens all over the world? No. Am I going to be creating designs for fictional queens, such as the evil queen from Disney? No. Then you might be wondering why I titled this Queen Couture. Let me start from the beginning. This collection came about in 2012 when I watched the very first Hunger Games movie. I don't think I watched the movie yet at that point, but I saw the costume design for Effie Trinket, and in that one single picture, I had visions of dress designs for a collection. I titled it Queen Couture because to me, Effie looked like a queen with the hair and the pink makeup, as well as the colors of her dress. From there, I wanted to design outfits that I thought could mimic the capital's fashion, but be more wearable in the present day. It didn't work the first time I started the collection, so I gave up. I tried again in 2013, but once again, it just wasn't working. And in 2014, which is the third try, I took a completely different approach to how I would go about generating ideas for each outfit design. For those of you guys who kept up with my Disney Princess inspired fashion illustrations, you might have noticed that for each design, I based it around the princess, which was an already existing character. For example, for Cinderella, I based the design on the item that was really significant to her identity and to the story, which was the glass slipper. For this collection, I wasn't basing it on any characters. I was literally starting from scratch. So what I did was I used a visual diary to jot down my inspirations and my design ideas, and I also included annotations of my thought process. For this entire collection, which has already been finished, by the way, in terms of coming up with the dress designs. There were a total of 16 designs. Then I narrowed it down to 10 designs that will be cut to be included in the collection, kind of like an elimination process. That way, I explored different possible designs for the collection, and I am able to select the ones I thought were the best ones, or the designs that I really wanted to showcase in my collection. All that's left now is the presentation of these designs. Since I am a beginner at sewing, it would only be in my wildest dreams that I could make all the designs in this collection come to life as actual garments. Therefore, to present the designs that I came up with, I will be relying on visually communicating them to you guys, which are my audience. That's where fashion illustration comes in handy. So I hope I've properly explained the process of how I went about this collection. I have also inserted clips of my visual diary where I documented my design process. If you guys have any questions about my process, feel free to ask me down below in the comment section, and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. So to go back to what this collection is actually going to be about, I would create dress designs that to me represent what makes up a queen. Someone who is strong and brave and a leader and someone who is also very feminine and embraces it with a heart and is compassionate and kind 
pretty much what women are. And I wanted these to be reflected in my collection. So because I already completed coming up with the designs on this collection and for this illustration in particular, and also because I forgot to capture the sketching, I can't completely give a detailed explanation of how I came up with the design. However, do not fret. I have written down on my sketchbook my thinking process for the design I came up with, and that can hopefully jog up my memory about this particular outfit design. Since the annotation I wrote won't make sense unless I read everything in order, I'll just sum it up. For this design, I was initially inspired by an armor, which is perceived to be a very masculine type of clothing. I wanted to play with the idea of women being equal to men by incorporating the look of an armor into the top of the dress. It's not as obvious in this design as it is in my other designs also in this collection, which you will see in the future, but the idea started there. For this particular dress, I wanted to put more focus on a woman's feminine beauty, which we normally associate with flowers. Armors and flowers actually became two ongoing themes in my collection. As you can tell, there are flowers forming a circle in the background, and the way the sleeves of the dress as well as the skirt flows is very much inspired by flower petals, which can have a delicate aesthetic. As for the colors of the illustration, I really wanted to incorporate a fairly limited color palette. I also wanted to play around with complementary colors which I really have been loving to use for various artworks that I have done. So for this drawing, I used orange and blue, and I also just added some pink undertones to unify the colors together so they don't look too harsh next to each other. Another thing about this illustration is that I really wanted to take this opportunity to draw flowers, which I admit I'm not too good at drawing, I don't have an extensive knowledge when it comes to flowers and what they're called or what they look like. All I really knew how to draw before were daisies and the five petal flowers. So I felt like I wanted to draw more kinds of flowers. I also wanted to draw leaves. I've never really been into drawing leaves before because they tend to look really fake not only in the way I draw them, but also in the way I color them. I don't know why, but I've really been finding it hard to create the right color of green to color leaves, something that looks natural. Even with this illustration, I'm not too happy with the color of the leaves, but I suppose it's just one of those things that I really need to work on. So that's pretty much all I can talk about for this illustration in particular. And I also wanted to do a little promotion at the end of this video by saying that I have finally opened up a Society6 shop where I sell prints of my artworks. The link is in the description box. It's an online shop which ships worldwide. You can find this illustration on the shop as well as some other recent ones I posted. My shop will be slowly expanding as I create more art, but for now I still have a limited selection. And I would appreciate it if you guys checked it out, and if you have ideas of what artworks you would like to see on my Society6 shop in the future, let me know in the comments down below. That is it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to contact me, open the description box where I have listed links and my email. And also the Society6 shop link is in there as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.